perfume week. <laughs> so I'm experimenting with color and um, so yeah I'm wearing like this this color that's way too cool tone for my hair. <laughs> As you can see it's not it's not a good look but I was experimenting. That's what you experiment for right? It's just kind of fun and it washes out so um, yeah so that'll be in there for a couple of weeks. So today I'm going to talk about what the Lush Kitchen is going to be making August 14th through August 18th. Next week, Lush is going to be making some things that they have never ever made before. They're also going to be introducing five of their new Gorilla 4 series perfumes in the Lush Kitchen for any of us to buy no matter where we live in the US or the UK via their website at lush.co.uk slash kitchen we're gonna have two snow fairy scented products on Monday is godmother soap the godmother soap now the godmother soap was discontinued in the lush stores about four years ago or so and this is a soap that was made in the scent of Snow Fairy. It says, with a swish and a flick, ambrosial musk was cast into these candy floss lathers. After rinsing, a sugary aroma lingers on the skin to whisper memories of your sweet fairy tale cleanse. This is made with rapeseed oil, coconut oil, glycerin, sorbitol, synthetic musk, and it, it only says it has synthetic musk, but I know it has uh, vanilla in here as well. And, and there it is. And you can see it has like, it has pink sparkles on it. See the pink sparkles? And it has the lovely snow fairy and candy fluff kind of fragrance. Smells like candy, like vanilla candy. I would rate Godmother's Soap a three and a half out of five rating. It's not particularly moisturizing, but it is a pretty soap. Godmother's Soap is going to be four pounds 25, which works out to five dollars and 55 cents if you're paying in US dollars. Next on Monday, okay, Snow Fairy Jelly Balm. Lush has never made this before except next week in the Lush Kitchen. Lush has released four new jelly bombs, they call them, four new bath bombs. As some of you know already, I have demo and review videos of all of the jelly bombs, the Big Sleep, Marmalade, Dark Arts, Green Coconut, ectoplasm so I can imagine it's going to have the lovely snow fairy fragrance I would imagine that it's going to be pink pink slime <laughs> it may or may not have sparkle I'm not sure I hope it does so if you want to know what the jelly bombs look like you can um, look at one of my jelly bomb videos I'm really excited about this so if you're looking for rare things then you might want to grab one of these. But it's going to be four pounds 95, which works out to six dollars and 46 cents. On Tuesday, Lush is going to be making two timing tart and mandarin tea party soap. Now, two timing tart is a bubble bar, a pink bubble bar. Here's one, it's a dark pink bubble bar. This was made in the fragrance of the strawberry twin tub shower jelly. And so it's got strawberries in it and geranium in it as well. And coconut cream, benzoin, jasmine, geranium. And it looks like a strawberry tart. That's what that looks like. And it makes a gorgeous dark pink water. It smells gorgeous. It's a cross between strawberries and a flower smell. So strawberries and geranium. It's absolutely gorgeous. I would rate Two Timing Tart a five out of five rating. Two Timing Tart is gonna be three pounds 95, which works out to $5 and 16 cents. Also on Tuesday is Mandarin's Tea Party Soap. And Mandarin's Tea Party is a very, very orangey soap. It's a 
made with mandarin oranges and it's so orangey smelling and it is sweet no sparkles or anything and it isn't very conditioning but it is a fun soap if you like oranges and it's a really bright really pretty color i would rate mandarin's tea party soap a four out of five rating Mandarin Sea Party Soap is going to be £4.25, which works out to $5.55. On Wednesday, Lush is going to be making Almond Kisses Facial Moisturizer and Ectoplasm Bath Bomb. Oh, I am so excited. Now, here is Almond Kisses Facial Moisturizer. And Almond Kisses Moisturizer was made in the same scent as the Potion Body Lotion and the Ruby Red Slippers Bubble Bar that Lush sells for Christmas. It has Carnation and Rose and Tangerine. This is a retro item. Lush made this in 2005. And this one is a medium thick moisturizer versus like say British Nanny moisturizer that the Lush Kitchen sold a couple of weeks ago is so thick you can stand a spoon up in it and it'll stay. This is almost that thick but not quite and if you stuck a spoon in it the spoon would kind of maybe bend a little bit. So and um, it says quenching Turkish rose water awaits ready to calm and soothe for a glowing complexion. So this has w rose water, almond oil, glycerin, shea butter, cocoa butter, rose absolute, carnation absolute, and tangerine oil. That's Almond Kisses. I would rate Almond Kisses Moisturizer a 3 out of 5 rating. Almond Kisses Moisturizer is going to be £23.50, which works out to $30.68. And then Ectoplasm Bath Bomb. Ectoplasm is another jelly bomb. Here's a picture I took of my Ectoplasm Bath Bomb. And I have a demo video of ectoplasm and a review that I did here on my YouTube channel. And I'll link that demo at the end of this video. So you can just click on the thumbnail that I put up there and go to the ectoplasm um, video. And of all the jelly bombs that I've tried, like I say, I've tried all of them except for this snow fairy one. Uh, I like the scent of ectoplasm the best, um, next to big sleep. <laughs> ectoplasm, as I recall, it smelled kind of floral, but with a little bit of a sweet, creamy edge to it. So it was pretty. It's a pretty scent. And I think that everyone would really like it, unless you don't like um, floral scents or if you don't like the jelly bombs. I personally would rate the ectoplasm jelly bombs a 5 out of 5 rating and that gorgeous shimmer, that gorgeous purple shimmer is so pretty. Now just FYI, the, uh, the ectoplasm that I used had a little bit of it had fallen off of the bottom so just take that into consideration uh, when you watch the video. Ectoplasm bath bomb is going to be £4.95, which works out to $6.46. On Thursday, Lush is going to be making Sonic Death Monkey Shower Gel. I know that a lot of you guys really like this. It's really popular. A Sonic, I don't have a Sonic Death Monkey with me. I gave them away in my giveaways. It, the name comes from a movie, uh, High Fidelity, a long time ago. Pretty funny movie. And Sonic Death Monkey is made with cocoa and hemp oil and um, orange oil and lime and a little bit of coffee. For those of you who have tried uh, some Lush products like uh, Heavenly Bodies Buttercream or the chocolate lip scrub that they had for Easter in 2017, those were made in the same scent as Sonic Death Monkey shower gel, except the shower gel has more sort of lime and a little bit of coffee edge to it, whereas the Heavenly Bodies and the Chocolate Scrub uh, don't. 
The only thing about Sonic Death Monkey is that it is quite thin and runny and watery. So it's not a full on chocolate smell. So it doesn't just smell like straight up chocolate. But you can tell there's some cocoa in there, definitely. So, and it's so popular. Lush is going to be selling them in the 250 gram uh, medium size like this bottle right here. I would rate Sonic Death Monkey a three and a half out of five rating. The reason for three and a half is because it is quite runny. Sonic Death Monkey is going to be £11.75, which works out to $15.34. And on Friday, Friday is a big day. On Friday, Lush is going to be making and selling five of their new Gorilla 4 series of perfumes. And they're going to be selling those five perfumes in 30 ml perfume bottles and 100 ml bottle um, perfume Lush bottle. is going to be making I'm Home, What Would Love Do, Emily May, Cardamom and Coffee, and Rentless. So here are all five of those. So the first perfume they're going to be making is called I'm Home. And I don't know what kind of label they're going to be making for these perfumes in the Lush kitchen. These are white. Uh, these came from uh, Oxford Street. And so I'm not sure uh, if the Lush kitchen is going to change the labels or keep them or, you know, or what they're going to look like. But I'm pretty sure the 30 mils are going to be in these same uh, sort of rectangular bottles. Okay, I'll try to find one of my 100 ml bottles of perfume so I can show you what those might look like. Now, I'm Home has cocoa in it and vanilla. So cocoa and vanilla, it's suitable for vegans. It's a, uh, kind of a, a darker color than the other perfumes. And so it's got a silver spray bottle right there. They fill them up very full. So. Mm. Oh God! When you spray it, it's the most yummy smell ever. Oh, you just smell cocoa and vanilla, vanilla and cocoa. I mean, who doesn't like that smell, right? Now, as it dries down, however, the scent starts changing, so that it becomes more of a sort of nutty cocoa scent. So I'm going to leave that there and keep talking so that I can tell you what it's like on the dry down as it dries. The next perfume they're selling is Emily May. And this is the name of one of the perfumer's daughters, Simon Constantine's daughter. This one is made with lavender, alang alang, rose, and a berry note. So it's got sort of a raspberry and rose fragrance. I'm just going to spray this in. Same thing, this one's a lighter color. Yeah, silver. And then I'll spray that. Mmm. Oh, that smells so good. This smells so pretty. I love this. You can smell the raspberry and the rose and the alang-alang. It doesn't smell like rose jam, really. It smells sort of like, like if rose jam had a little bit of raspberry in it. It's not as sweet as rose jam because it's got that bright herbal lavender pop in it. So it's got uh, berries, lavender, rose, and a lang, -lang. So it's floral, but it's also fruity. It's a, uh, it's a sort of a, 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 a light young uh, rose floral. So I'm going to let uh, Emily May dry down so we can see what that smells like on the dry down. The next perfume is called Cardamom and Coffee. And so a lot of you know that I would like this one already because I love cardamom. So I was really excited about this one. Now the Gorilla 4 perfumes were made along with a gentleman named Hal Samples. And you can read about Hal and what he does 
on the Lush UK website underneath the Gorilla 4 page. And cardamom and coffee was made um, because one of the Lush co-owner's sons went on a trip and I I'm not positive, but I think it was to Turkey, but I could be wrong. But uh, he had a, kind of a, some kind of coffee drink, and that's, that's what the inspiration was for cardamom and coffee. And so cardamom is a spice. It looks like a little green seed or something. It's used a lot in Indian food, um, Thai food. It's, it's uh, like chai tea is made with a lot of cardamom, so that's that, that scent. This one was made with cardamom oil, olive leaf, and rose oil, and some coffee. So, cardamom, rose, olive, and some coffee. Now this one I'm going to spray on my upper arm right here. So it's got that strong, pow of the cardamom and so it's almost like a you know it smells like some kind of eastern outdoor market or something like that is cardamom and coffee the next gorilla four perfume is called rentless and i don't have a liquid perfume of rentless i just have i have the solid perfume of rentless and the Rentless Perfume uh, 30 ml will look just like these, except it'll say Rentless, of course. And I love Rentless. I think Rentless might be one of my favorite scents out of all of these. Those of you who remember, I, I, uh, I, I demoed and reviewed the Metamorphosis Bath Bomb um, that when it was out at the creative showcase last year and when I reviewed that in the beginning before I put it in the tub I was mentioning that I had read that the rentless perfume from Lush and the metamorphosis bath bomb from Lush smelled the same I had read that at the creative showcase and a couple of people that attended the creative showcase uh, that were employees told me that that it was said that they were pretty much the same scent and Lush was asked on the Lush kitchen site by someone and I remember Lush said that it was close to metamorphosis but it wasn't exact and so I would have to agree there Rentless is a very earthy scent just like metamorphosis is and I think they share something else too now Metamorphosis has cinnamon in it. This does not. So metamorphosis is more sort of like earthy, sweet, and spicy, where this is just more earthy and not really sweet or spicy, if that makes sense. And I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. This has patchouli, labdamum, tonka bean, grapefruit, and anise root or anise seed. So, aniseed is somewhat of a licorice -y note. And then patchouli, labdamum are very earthy, sort of hippie-ish, incense -y notes. Those of you who liked uh, some of the old school lush things like Icon and, and um, you know, those kinds of fragrances will probably like Rentless quite a bit. I personally would rate Rentless a four out of five rating, but you really have to like some earthy scents, okay? If you don't like that, you know, earthy, incense-y, sort of woody, resinous uh, scent, then don't get Rentless, because you won't like it. The 30 ml of Rentless is going to be 25 pounds, which works out to $32.64 if you're paying in US dollars. The next Gorilla perfume is called What Would Love Do? And this one, this one was made with tangerine oil and lavender, suitable for vegans. This is self-preserving. And oh, I'm going to spray this one on this arm. Woo! This one is very tangerine forward. You know I love orangey notes, tangerine notes, mandarin notes, etc. So, so I love this tangerine note. 
then it mixes really well with the lavender. Lush doesn't do orange and lavender notes very often. Uh, they don't have a whole bunch of products with orange and lavender, so uh, this is really, it's a nice combination, I think. I'm Home still has a really nice cocoa and vanilla scent. I can still smell the cocoa and the vanilla on my skin. Now, it's not as strong as it was when I first sprayed it, of course. But it doesn't turn weird or anything like that on my skin. It's nice. I would give I'm Home a three and a half or a four out of five. It's a comforting smell and I like the smell. It's just, it just doesn't last very long on my skin is all. Emily May. Okay, Emily May. I like the way that it dries down. When Emily May dries down on my skin, on, with my skin chemistry anyway, it dries down from a fresh smelling uh, uh, raspberry rose scent to more of a, a sweet, sweet sticky raspberry rose scent. So that it's, it's sort of along the lines of rose jam, but not really rose jam, if that makes sense. It's not heavy at all, it's very light. So I think a lot of people who like um, who like things like, you know, more girly things, I think will like this very much. The, I lose the lavender a whole lot um, on my skin so that that raspberry-ish note and the rose note stick around as well as the Lang Lang, but the lavender mm, it kind of dissipates. So it's really kind of very light on the lavender. So that's Emily May. I would rate Emily May a four out of five rating. Now cardamom and coffee on the dry down. The coffee note really diminishes quite a bit. The cardamom note stays there. It becomes only very slightly sweet on the skin versus when you spray it, it smells sweeter. I can see cardamom and coffee being a unisex scent. I think men could wear it. I think women could wear it. If you like cardamom, you would like this. If you like coffee, mm, the coffee really diminishes quite a bit um, on the dry down, on my skin anyway. So I would rate cardamom and coffee a three and a half out of five rating. And then what would love do? I'm smelling that right now. Oh, that smells so nice. I still smell the tangerine and I still smell the lavender combo in on my skin. I would rate What Would Love Do a four out of five rating. Um, a, I of course love tangerines, but the reason why I give it a four rating is because the scent does oddly stay on my skin longer than the others. So those are the things that the Lush Kitchen is gonna be making for us next week. August 14th through August 18th. I know you guys like me to kind of tell you what uh, my guess is for what things are going to be selling out the fastest next week. I think Snow Fairy, Jelly Bomb, Two Timing Tart Bath Bomb, Sonic Death Monkey Shower Gel, and Ectoplasm Bath Bomb are going to sell the fastest of all of these things. Uh, I think they're going to be gone in an hour. And I think as far as the perfumes are concerned, I think the 100 ml perfumes probably won't sell out in one day. I think the 30 ml perfumes, I think that some of them will sell out in an hour. I think Emily May will sell out in an hour. I think I'm home is going to sell out in an hour and I think what would love do is going to sell out in an hour. So those are my guesses. What I'm going to be getting is a snow fairy jelly bomb or two, an ectoplasm bath bomb or three, <laughs> a sonic death monkey shower gel, and a rentless 100 ml perfume. So what is going on in the lush world? Uh, the Gorilla 4 series of perfumes are going to be uh, introduced. If you want to see what all of the Gorilla perfumes are going to be like, you can head on over to my blog 
uh, to my Gorilla 4 perfumes page and you can see all 10, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the perfumes there and the descriptions and such that Lush gave me. And as I said, the Creative Showcase is taking place September 3rd and 4th, I believe it is, or is it September 6th and 7th? I can't remember. <laughs> In London. And I have a Creative Showcase page uh, from last year. And uh, I got a lot of really cool products from the Creative Showcase, thanks to a couple of people. So if you want to see what kinds of crazy outrageous lush things lush stuff that is going on at the creative showcase head on over to my blog the lush encyclopedia blog and check out my uh, lush creative showcase page you can see candy lion on youtube's video on my creative show pa showcase page of the entirety of that gorgeous looking place and what all the fantasy things were all over Last year they had scented nail polish, they had chocolate mushrooms, they, I mean, just every possible thing you could possibly imagine. So I will be listing every single product that come that is shown at the Creative Showcase. And uh, let's see, last week I uploaded here on my YouTube channel a demo video for Love Body Spray, the Twilight Body Spray. Um, and uh, another body, the Love Body Spray and the Plum Rain Body Spray. I have another couple of body sprays to review here too. Um, and I have uh, two or three more Gorilla Perfume 4 Series perfumes that I need to review on my channel as well. And I also have the Lush Crystal Ball Bath Bomb, the new Crystal Ball Bath Bomb that I'm going to be demoing here on my YouTube channel. Uh, within this next week and I have a big old haul video coming up here on my YouTube channel within the next couple of days and so look forward to that and if you have any questions about any of these products go ahead and comment below and I'll answer as soon as I can if you enjoyed this video please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there and subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new Lush video which I do anywhere from one to five times every week and as always thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon on the next video bye bye